Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Josie K. Tarot. I'm Josie K. and this is the second half of October of 2021 Spiritual Guidance Reading. I'm going to start out with the Lenormand deck by Chiro Marsetti, and I'm going to lay a six-card spread just to kind of cover the overall energy that will be surrounding whichever Gemini I am reading for during this general reading. Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless this Gemini with clearly defined messages regarding the energy surrounding them during the second half of October of 2021. All right. So we have a Gemini here who is being guided by spirit to ground themselves with the tree energy, to continue to set goals and meet goals, right, on a day-to-day -day basis, because eventually there's going to be an aha moment. Eventually, for some, there's going to be a new path, uh, a direction that you are manifesting, or that you are in the process of here mid-October. Now, you are being offered up the moon energy, which can represent fantasy or, or illusion, confusion. This is a, a time to kind of observe how far you've come and uh, to continue to dedicate your time to uh, your goals and intentions, waiting for the clarity in the form of the rainbow. So there's not a lot about, um, I shouldn't say taking action because there's a lot with the tree, but it's more in a more grounded way. If you are confused or unsure, spirit saying, uh, wait things out, okay? Divine timing is guiding a lot of the collective into a higher, better path at this time. And in many cases, it does have to do with a building and organization, a more financially abundant, secure, and stable situation. But what's showing up as well a lot for uh, personal readings especially, um, we have this uh, mountain energy. Now, in this particular case, I feel like we have a Gemini here who is setting goals and meeting goals, but they may be a bit unsure about a business or organization during the second half of October of 2021. But Spirit's advice with the mountain is to not look at the path ahead as long and difficult, but as an exciting new adventure, right? It's time to focus on how far you've come and what you are manifesting, not only financially, but personally and creatively, right? Because that's how we create joy and happiness as we continue to come up with ideas, just like a child who is uh, trying to come up with something fun to do, right? That's how we continue to manifest energies of joy, peace, and happiness is what I'm hearing. Now, by the end of October of 2021, we have the dice and the broom or the whip, right? So should I roll the dice and take a risk to move into the direction of this business or organization? Um, or should I sweep away from it altogether? I think Spirit's saying, yes, roll the dice, take a risk, check it out so that you can sweep away from indecision, from focusing only on the obstacles and instead Follow your goals and intentions into the direction of this beautiful tower in the Lenormand deck. So Gemini, for further confirmation and clarification, in a three-card spread to my left, we have the maze, uh, a waiting gentleman, and a passionate gentleman. So we have, okay, um... Okay, we'll get to the gentleman in a minute. Uh, we've got a feminine here who's looking at the maze energy. I feel like, you know, male or female, this is someone who's waiting patiently, observing the fact that they're a bit confused, right? Uh, the maze is about which way do I go? Am I making a mistake? And spirit saying, wait patiently, trust in prayer. We will bring you the clarity that you are seeking. Oh, beautiful. So it could be, uh, you know, the week of around the 16th of October where you recognize this beautiful golden bridge that spirit's providing you is moving you into an exciting new direction with the number one a new path with the nine of hearts spirit saying say yes for the communication the paperwork you will be receiving is going to make you shine like the sun feel like a kid again uh, for some you may not get this paperwork until around the 27th to the 31st of october but regardless uh, there is communication coming regarding a commitment partnership or contract regarding money or for some uh, uh, Pisces energy here. 
someone may be wondering what you're doing, who cares about you. Now, um, during the second half of October of 2021, we have kind words and messages, positive feedback coming to this masculine. Now the masculine energy is I'm waiting. I did the work, I put the time in, and now I'm waiting patiently and I'm hoping for kind words, messages, or an offer of sorts. I'm feeling a little bit anxious with the mice energy about which direction to go and thank goodness. Spirit is offering up this beautiful magical compass, helping to guide you into a higher, better path at this time. So we have some who are very passionate about the direction they want to go. We have some who may be thinking about this passionate feminine, but are feeling a little bit burdened. They're trying to make a decision here in the area of home or family and is researching. Uh, meeting up, negotiating, and communicating with someone here during the second half of October. Pushing beyond the energies of confusion. Receiving some form of clarity. And then devoting oneself to a new direction, while at the same time with the coffin energies, bringing an old path to an end. So there's an aha moment here. That I don't have to wonder about traveling and moving and taking a risk, but I can now... Uh, take the information I've received. So we have a passionate masculine, male or female, someone who's just on top of their game here by the end of October because they're connecting with people via a group of people, people via society, community, social media, technology. Feeling very passionate and excited because a karmic path has opened up. A connection that was meant to be opened up. And now there's a realization that you're hoping to make a wish come true. For some of you, like I've been saying for the collective for a long time, if you roll the dice and take a risk and move into the direction of a more financially abundant, secure, and stable situation, you're going to, if you're single, meet someone new in that direction. So it's about focusing on yourself first. Now, for some reason, I'm being guided over here to the Energy Oracle deck by Sandra Ann Taylor. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, continue to please uh, confirm and clarify these messages for this Gemini um, and the energy that will be surrounding this Gemini or group of Geminis during the second half of October of 2021. Yeah, so we have a Gemini here who's like, I've been through the storm. I now know when a storm is coming. Therefore, I'm going to continue to plant seeds, goals, and intentions that keep me grounded until I have an aha moment amidst some form of confusion. I can see a storm coming. Therefore, I can now avoid it. So Spirit's saying, remember in your thoughts position, Gemini, during the second half of October of 2021, that the angel of balance is helping to come in and bring you into a more balanced and peaceful energy. Why? Because we have this man holding a coin. So whoever you are, we have a masculine coming to you, Gemini, to make an offer in the area of money. Some Geminis are looking at this offer, this opportunity, and maybe feeling like it's a bit distant or there are too many obstacles, but Spirit's saying, you know, you've been there, done that, and now you will remain balanced as you receive communication. Here we go, a contract. So they're saying, remember, your actions, uh, whatever you're putting your time and effort into regarding a building or organization in the second half of October, Gemini, is going to lead you to some form of commitment, partnership, or contract. Your balanced energy and a connection to a masculine is going to bring a commitment, partnership, or contract your way. And you're going to realize by the end of October of 2021 that indeed you have stepped into the direction of victory. Congratulations. Roll the dice. Don't look at the path as long and difficult. But look at it. Take off that blindfold and look at what Spirit's trying to offer. Because the number six here in the creative aspects position is spirit talking about success. This whole process is going to bring you to a place I feel you haven't been for a while, Gemini. And that's into this yin-yang energy, a very balanced energy. Uh, so spirit saying, remember, throughout the second half of October, the angel of balance is helping to bring you a more balanced life through an offer, a contract, and energies of victory because you 
planted these seeds, right? You took action steps. And now you're recognizing this aha moment. That this is the person, place, circumstance, situation, or path that I was meant to discover at this time in my life path journey. So in the subconscious position, we've got the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel, who is here saying, I'm going to answer your prayers, help you to sidestep uh, storms uh, that, and, and forget the storms that have now passed. And in the day-to-day -day aspects position, I'm going to bring you this beautiful cornucopia of overflowing blessings via a business or organization. So do not fear the obstacles, for we are helping to bring you a contract. Take off that blindfold, take a look at that, roll the dice, and do so in a patient way. For number 16 is about a new path of success, a new doorway opening here, and Spirit saying, just remain patient. Continue to roll the dice and take a risk and put the time and effort in. Do not give up. Pay attention to the signs from Archangel Uriel, who's going to help you to recognize that where you've been has brought you into balance and where you are now is leading you to victory. Beautiful. So we have a man holding a heart then. My heart is open and I'm receiving a lot of appreciation here from another. I am realizing in hindsight with the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron, that, I, that the signs... These are signs with the adjacent doorway here. We have, I was focused on this doorway and something else opened. And now I'm connecting with spirit and I'm rolling the dice. Yes, in the area of love. So like I said, someone may receive a contract here and then come into partnership because you're very grounded in connection to someone new, male, female, however it applies to your energy. So spirit saying slowly but patiently strategize how you're going to step into this new path in a very patient and balanced way. For one path will end and a new path will begin. And we're trying to free you, like from that mice energies, from energies of excite, uh, uh, anxiety. Pardon me. So we have the goddess of moon pushing beyond obstacles into a new direction, finding a solid foundation, and boom, here comes a thinking woman. And instantly... We've got a Gemini who's bringing out their sword, right? You're going to meet people via community, society, social media, technology. As you journey into a new direction, as you continue to take action, you will replace energies and worries of financial constraints. So I'm going to confirm and close by bringing in the Rider weight deck. This is a tarot deck, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels. Please provide any astrological signs and or elements by which this Gemini may be connecting with. Oh, I just saw the fool card. We're helping to guide this Gemini into a new path, a new direction. Yeah, there were storm warnings, difficulties regarding uh, siblings, your past, your childhood. But spirit is saying now is the time to manifest success, right? Five plus one is six here in the Roman numeral. So you may be thinking about travel or maybe you already took and created travel. Forward movement. Spirit saying the angel of balance. You're going to feel very balanced because spirit is helping with the major arcana of the chariot to bring um, victory and success your way. Boom. There is connection here via other people with the three of pentacles energies uh, and someone who is holding a coin that could be you or that could be you're traveling into the direction of others and you're realizing that an offer is being made to you so in the creative aspects position we've got this contract and spirit saying we will help you to make the highest best decision we will help you to guide you into a path of victory we will help you to take action so that you can come out of the five of coins energies feeling sad depressed or as though you don't have enough maybe enough money, but to realize as a result of your efforts by the end of October that you have now stepped into a path of victory. Something may come to you very quickly and unexpectedly here. I'm getting the 22nd of October for this Gemini. Yeah, so in the subconscious position, spirit saying pray to us to help to free you from sadness, worry, fear, anxiety, regret. Take the Nine of Swords down so you can sleep at night and trust in prayer. 
for in the day-to-day -day aspects position uh, as you receive this uh, cornucopia gift new journey you are going to feel more open-hearted more balanced emotionally and you are going to recognize in hindsight that spirit has indeed guided you into a direction of this victory. So spirit is also saying to this Gemini, we're giving you in the inner strengths position the strength to lay down an old path of career and finance, to roll the dice and take a risk, right? Sweep away from, lay down a path that does not serve you any longer or that you're not real passionate about and instead... Trust that spirits give me the strength to roll the dice and then to wait patiently. To wait optimistically for this victory. For again, on the bottom of the deck now we have spirits saying an uh, unexpected doorway has either opened for you or is going to. So on a three card summary again to my left with the Rider Waite deck, we've got the Ace of Pentacles. And your sign, the lovers. So you may know what this new path in career and finance is about, but remember to thank spirit when this gift comes. This is a gift of a path that is going to grow and prosper. Slowly but surely, you can free yourself from whatever self-entrapment energies you've been dealing with, right? Because the Eight of Swords is a figment of our imagination. Instead, uh, move into the direction of planting new seeds, one foot in front of the other, making the right decisions because of all that you have learned. For some of you, this could be a mother figure, grandmother figure, and you're feeling a bit stuck or trapped in a situation in connection to them. But either way, it's time for a new chapter. With the Hierophant energy, it is time to maybe sign legal paperwork, um... Though some of you just may be a little bit unsure of the intentions here, the offer. Again, they're saying someone in a leadership position related to career and finance with the wand energy is going to come towards you. And you're going to know that this connection circumstance situation feels as though it was meant to be. And then we have the realization of a wish come true and the how and manifesting the walking away from uh, a path. Or a person that no longer serves you because new things, uh, new victory, paths of victory are finally opening up for you, Gemini. So if this is your journey and you have further questions about your own personal path, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I am offering four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, and yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the fall special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so much for your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. Thank you to those of you who come to me for month-to-month -month readings and then follow up those readings with a beautiful email letting me know exactly how these spiritual messages help to guide you into that highest path of peace, joy, and happiness. Thank you so very, very much to those of you who have continued to donate to keep this channel up and running. Take care and God bless.